And so now, he's overcome. Fear has set in. He gets the message. Huh? <laughs> Three nations rise up. Ready to take them out. They come in from a place or through a place that they're unexpected. The situation just pops up like popcorn. Yeah. Isn't that just how life is in our life? Even on, huh? Even in 2020. Situations just pop up like popcorn. You don't ask for it. You don't want it. As a matter of fact, so far as you know, life is good. Life is grand. Life is great. Until trouble attacks your space. Are you in here? And God allows trouble to infiltrate your space, oftentimes, more than not, to bring you and me into a closer relationship with him. Do I have anybody in the building who can look past their current situation and say, God, regardless of what I see, regardless of how I feel, I'm going to still lift up my hands because there's nothing left for me to do. And what do you do when you get to the end of your journey and you discover that there's nothing left for you to do? My mama got an answer for that. She say, baby, when you get to the end of your rope, just tie a knot and hang on. Lord, have mercy. She said, baby, just tie a knot, tie a knot, tie a knot, tie a knot. Say, hold on for dear life. And as you're holding on, understand it's not you holding yourself up. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And I'm looking at some folk who thought they was going to give up last year but you're still here you thought you couldn't hold on any longer but you're still here Satan tried to take you out but you're still here uh, so Jehoshaphat now is faced with a crisis that's not just tailor made for him but it's tailor made for everybody around him because what affects him affects everybody. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, what you do affects not just you, but it affects everybody that's tied to you. You think I'm lying, you think I'm lying, you think I'm lying? Whatever Pastor Dawson does, everywhere I go, I'm a representative of New Providence Baptist Church. I ain't just a representative of my family. But everybody that comes, come on, help me in here. Huh? That's why you have to be careful what you say, how you act, how you look. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Rewind, play. That's why you have to be careful what you say, how you act, how you look. Y'all ain't saying nothing. That's why you have to be careful what you say, how you said, how you look. Y'all ain't saying talk to the back row. That's why you have to be careful what you say, how you said, how you look. Let me talk to this side. That's why you have to be careful what you say, how you said, how you look. That's why you have to be careful what you say, how you look. Because folk, yes, sir. folk gauge, Ooh, and I'm preaching to myself. I know my looks ain't out. Can I just give y'all five, five seconds worth of transparency? I know I look messed up sometimes. Me too, Reverend. Are you in here? That's why sometimes Pastor Dawson have to close his eyes, take off his glasses. Huh? Because some folk don't decide to go to sleep until the preacher start preaching. Yeah. Oh, look at his name. Say he eating right now. He eating. He eating. Are you in here? Huh? Come on, talk back to me if you can. Huh? And isn't it strange that God still allows you to make it out of church even though you went to sleep in church? Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Huh? Huh? You, huh? Go to sleep in church. Leave church. Go to Lubas and get full. Go home and go back to. Look at your neighbor and say, oh, we. You ain't choke on no chicken bone at Lubis, huh? Come on, help me in here, huh? Go home, kick off your shoes, your slippers, or whatever it is you wear, and go to sleep. But this year, we ain't going to go to sleep. <laughs> Man, this is a message for the house this morning. Huh? This year... We're going to enter, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We're going to enter into his courts with praise. We're going to be thankful unto him. And we're going to bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Look at your neighbor and say, wake up, baby. This ain't sleeping time. 
you can't see if you sleep. I'll wait. Big Samuel, I got to get out of here. I, I got to get out of here. Charlotte Vavasour is getting hot. Uh, <laughs> are you in here? <clears throat> you can't watch if you sleep. How you going to watch, fight, and pray and you sleep? Huh? And you can't even fight long enough because you're too comfortable sitting. You can't get, oh Lord, have mercy. Huh? How you going to kick the devil if you sleep? Huh? Somebody here need you need to learn a fighting stance. Look at your neighbor. I ain't forgot how to fight. So Jehoshaphat has a crisis, has a situation, but the text says, "Keep your Bibles open. Keep your Bibles open." I don't think I'm lying to you. But the text says that when he got the message, he became fearful. It's in your Bible if you ain't tore it out. Look at your name. Say, "Ooh wee." He became fearful. Can I help you out with the first point real quick? And I, 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 I got about eight of them, but I'll give you two. All right? Give them all to us, Rev. Watch this here. And I'll give them to Rev. Watch this here. Don't allow fear to cause you to remove yourself from God. Rather, allow fear to refocus your perspective of God. That, oh, oh, I know it's good. Somebody didn't say nothing, though. <laughs> Rewind, play. Don't allow fear to cause you to remove yourself from God. Rather, allow fear to refocus your perspective of God. Can I unpack it for you real quick? Fear has caused a lot of us to fail because we leave and give up based off of how we think things are going to go because of our current crisis. Y'all missed it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Can I put it in your lap where you can reach it? It looks bad right now, so I don't think it can ever get better. The problem is, is that, watch this, regardless of how much pressure is in the pressure cooker, God has a way of relieving the pressure. Okay, 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 okay. That was a song we used to sing in 3701 Elder Street, Houston, Texas, 77004. Great True Faith Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Ben Rod Littlesey was my pastor. And you know the song that they sung? Trouble don't last always. That's all I'm trying to tell somebody in here. It did, I, oh, can I put it right here? It didn't last in 19, did it? Y'all don't want to say that. It didn't last in 19, did it? Trouble don't last in 19. Trouble ain't going to last in 20. Trouble is going to come. But now you have the weapons that you need to look at trouble in the face and say no weapon that's formed. Look at your name and say, I can deal with this stuff now. A lot better this year than I could last year because last year was training ground. Now I can stand on what I know. Do I have about 20 folk in the building? High five three people and say, baby, go with what you know. Training ground. Uh, yeah. I was patty caking God in the spirit last year. Now, I'm going to get my praise on. So if you can't handle it, move your seat. Huh? Come on, help me, huh? And if we're not friends because of the way I praise God, you wasn't my... Finish, come on, come on, finish it for me. Come on, finish it for me, huh? You ain't got no help in the hell to put me in. God has been too good. As a matter of fact, he's been better than good to me. So I'm going to give him a better praise. I'm going to give him a better worship. I'm going to give him some better tithe. I'm going to give him some better talent. I'm going to give him some better treasure. Better. Better. Look at your name say better. Better than good. <laughs> He's been better than good. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch, I'm, I'm almost done. It is when 
we lose the consciousness of God in our life that things get out of focus. And the end result is that we become fearful, we become anxious, we become terrified when we lose the consciousness of God. When we can do things without thinking about them. When we say stuff because we're old enough you ain't got to say, man. That's all I'm going to say about that. When we, when we, when we uh, treat folk indifferent because we don't think we'll ever need them. When we think we got it going on uh, until off got us. You ain't got to talk to me in here. Huh? When, 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 when you're thinking, when you think you're high on a horse. Are you in here? And you realize that you're headed down. Because if you start up, you ain't got no place to go but. When you can't ever find yourself being humble. When you can't ever find yourself coming as a little child because you're 99 years old. Or you're 18. So you're too old to come as a little child because you ain't no child. Lord have mercy. Can I put a pin mark right here and chase this rabbit? I don't care how old you are. I don't care. Come on, help me, huh? How seasoned you are. You'll never be older than my word this first Sunday in 2020 we ask now God that it would <clears throat> transform our thinking give us crystal clear clarity as it relates to the direction that you would have us to go we can move with assurance move with confidence that you will complete the work that you've begun in us individually yes, and collectively. Yes, we thank you. Make us witnessing warriors and yes. testifying saints to your goodness and your grace that this day we are found guilty of giving you the very best we have to offer and we say thank you, thank you. Jesus name amen. amen second chronicles chapter 20 at verse 20 second chronicles chapter